Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to Hemel Hempstead, our last game of the regular league uh, fixture list this season. We just touched back on yesterday night though, Adam. A uh, hell of a night in the end of the County Cup the semi final, uh, winning on penalties and getting through to the final. How are you feeling after that? Yeah, it's a, a great game. I like. Um, we're not to the Brighton game, to be honest, and um, the semi final there. and. Uh, had similar sort of traits in in some ways where you know there's a lot of possession for one team and didn't quite take the chances and a bit wasteful in in the final third and I think it's quite a similar sort of game there wasn't like bundles and bundles of chances it was a case of I thought us trying to break them down they was in a very good good shape and um, paid us a lot of respect um, and rightly so I think um, you know our youngsters. Um, and, our, and our squad um, just showed how valuable they are, and and you know just how exciting it is at the club at the moment with such a, a good group of, of young players um, to call upon. Seven academy players started last night, and Joe Rye as well, who was someone who broke through to the first team for the first time this season. He captained the team as well. It's a hell of a benchmark for how good the academy system is at this club. No, yeah, it's um, probably five, six years in the making now. Like. When I come back, didn't really have nothing, we didn't have 19, so we wanted to set up a, a 14, 15, 16, so having spent a bit of time at Brighton, just felt there was scope for um, another team in Sussex to, you know, um, recruit some of the good, good local talent, and um, yeah, it's very much in its, its early stages, it's uh, a youth set up, um, is very much a, a long, long game, and to have, you know, like I say, seven able to, to play um, in a uh, Sussex Senior Cup semi-final is is great testament to everyone that puts time and effort into our youth teams and has done over the years. Um, you know, Steve Hall was a, a big um, driver of it as well and, you know, so yeah, I'm sure he'll be, he would have been looking down and, and very proud to see quite so many youngsters playing and performing and I thought they was they was excellent as well. Um, you know, really moved the ball well and you know it's what what you know we aspire to have all our teams playing a certain way and it all looking like the first team uh, is the real goal and you know to see so many come and, and perform the way they did was, was really nice to see. Even a few players who have been away from a team for a while coming back in Jav Splat who's been on dual reg away he had a really good performance actually in the end when he came on quite early. Oh, sorry, when he started, came on, didn't he? <laughs> come on, yeah. Um, I'll clip that. No, yeah, come on for for Tutty um, in game jab and yeah, him and Jess. You know, they haven't featured too much in a while, um, so yeah, I thought they were both excellent. Just you know, run out of legs a little bit. He's, did say only an hour, but that hour went to about eighty, I think, in the end. And then he started looking a bit leggy, bless him, but. No, yeah, Ollie Starkey I thought was excellent as well. You know, not featured for us in a long time. Kyle and Ruben and Chopper have been very close to the squad, been travelling home and away games and want them to, you know, be amongst it and be part of it and, and you know, sense what's needed at this kind of level. I think it's been good for their learning to, to do that and um, you know, I thought they was excellent as well. So, you know, it's like I say, um when you're chucked in like that I think you can go, um, can either sink or swim and I thought you know they sort of really took to it the young players and, and grasped that opportunity and, and that's what it's all about. Touch on Jesse, it's always been a little bit of a will he come back, will, uh, won't he, it's always felt like everyone's kind of wanted to see him back in the team again finally back in yesterday, how did that all come about, was he quite willing to come back, has he been quite eager to get back in the team again? Yeah he's, he's been in a couple of training sessions um, but yeah he just you could see his class when he comes back and he trains but then he's just not been available for the Saturdays or the Tuesdays because they're just work commitments at the moment. Um, he's um, moved in, moved out of his parents and bought somewhere and done it up and stuff this year. And you know, with that, the extra expense, um, so he's had to work on on Saturdays and Tuesdays, which you know, lads get into a certain age, and you know that sort of does become a priority for him and. Um, yeah, he still kept kept him around it. He's in the in the in the WhatsApp group, and he knows when training and everything is. And he's he's turned up for a few in recent weeks. Um, we've as soon as we knew that 
it was a Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, you know, we knew we'd need sort of all hands on deck, and Jess could play a big part for us. And you know, just delighted he'd done that. Um, he's not about now till training next Thursday. Um, so hopefully, getting back in for that. And um, we'll see the Thursday after that. Now is the final, so um, he seems to be available for Thursdays, which is which, which is encouraging. That's a start. Hopefully, maybe next season he could be back involved a little bit more often again. No, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, um, like I say, it's very much still part of part of our plans and stuff. And you know, it's just a case of being patient and waiting until he's ready. But yeah, like I say, we're more than accommodating for for good players at this club. Looking ahead to Saturday against Hemel, uh, playoffs are already confirmed. But now it's about where we're going to finish in that in that playoffs, hoping for a home draw. How are you feeling going into it and how's the squad looking after a pretty busy week or so? Yeah, we'd um, have a look at see how it is today. There's a few put their names down for some rubs and stuff today, so probably a few more than normal. Um, so yeah, we'll assess how everybody is, but I'm not envisaging too much, um, you know, um, injuries and, and stuff like that. So I'm hoping, hoping Ollie will be back, you know, Kane's been back and and play two nineties now, um, so which is good at a good time. And yeah, just Ollie was just a bang on his hip, so I think that extra rest now will we'll see him through and, and see him well. So um, yeah, it's just a, just a case of get, getting through, see how good he is. And like you say, I think it, also for home tie, but also for for momentum, you know, to to keep some momentum to to win a semi final, you know, just even that keeps the momentum going. You know, we've got a final now to look forward to at the Amex, so um, it just spurs everyone on. And, you know, with that, we, we've won five out of six. So, you know, the opportunity Saturday is to win six out of seven and the semi-final going into the playoffs and, and keep momentum. And that's really important to do that. Um, and also, wanna, you know, you want to you wanna go into a, a playoff push and a final on the back of a good performance. And... Um, you know, I thought Tuesday and Wednesday were two really good performances and we, we want to back that up Saturday. It's still one of those things in the playoffs, it's all about the team that's got the momentum coming into it. It feels like they're normally the, the strongest team in it. It feels like confidence is at an all-time high in the squad whenever you talk to the players going ahead to these playoffs. No, that's right, yeah. Um, you know, they're quite a positive group anyway. Um, you know, they believe in their own abilities and, um, you know, rightly so. Um, so, yeah, it's just a case of them keeping that focus and that concentration. Um, so, yeah, the, the bit of experience that we've got will be invaluable as well. But, yeah, like I say, I think Chesson, um, you know, in the Eastman Premier last year, uh, got a good bit of momentum heading into the playoffs and managed to come through it. So, yeah, I think, I think it's crucial crucial to, to get momentum, get confidence high and the team believing and playing well. Um, you know, especially for us being a young group, it's, it's, it's vital to have that. So, hoping for a, you know, a really uh, big turnout and hoping for a good performance uh, and it set us up for, you know, it's an exciting couple of weeks coming up.